Nosy parents of teenagers. What do you wish you shouldn't have seen? I raised a daughter as a single father I'm not a natural snoop. I try to not be too nosy. The worst parts for me was having her around my mom. My mom is more nosy than any 5 people I have ever met. My mom was left alone in my house with just the dog when my daughter was 15. My daughter is now in her mid 20s and I still have not heard the last from my mom about her having 3 different vibrators and therefore is somehow perverted she hasn't lived at home since she left for college at 18 and I'm still hearing about it. A dildo won't get her pregnant, hooked on drugs, or hit her up for money. So it's fine by me. Apostrophe. You don't hear this argument. Like. Ever. It's a really good point. But Jesus will be sad. Then get him some stuff too. That'll cheer him up. Right? As a kid. It seemed like. No matter where you hid shit. Your mother would find it. I had a nice stash of spank mags. When I was a young teen. And decided I would hide them in one of my guitar cases. Even behind the guitar. My mother would have absolutely no reason whatsoever to open one of those. She still found them. And acted like she wasn't looking for anything. Ugh. Couldn't imagine tearing my kid's room apart looking for something. Unless I absolutely had to. This is why people find stashes of pee in the woods. Wish my mom was more like that. She searches my room regularly. Whenever I call her out on it. Which I've given up at this stage. Because she just won't stop. She tells me she was just cleaning it for me. Regardless of how tidy it was when I left the house. But I always knew A. Because things that you wouldn't have to touch to tidy the room would be out of place and B. Sometimes I'd just assume she searched it and say it to her. And it's always so obvious by her reaction. You should start leaving her notes. Or decoy contraband for her to find. Chop up some basil and leave it in a sandwich bag. Now nah, Need to have a baggie full of dirtyish looking syringes. Some condoms. A fire damage spoon. Unidentifiable pills slash vitamins. A pregnancy tester. And an abortion quote. An abortion quote. I thought you meant an actual quote. Like just a piece of paper that says abortion is pretty cool. I guess. Gandhi. I found a poopy dildo hidden in the now unused floor vent in the bathroom. I lived with my mom and four younger brothers. It doesn't matter whose it was. I'm still wishing I'd never seen that. When we moved house and all the stuff was in the new place. One of the moving guys called me out to double check the receipt. And when we were out of my mom's earshot slash eyeline he handed me the weed pipe. That had fallen out of the hid a hole in the back of my desk. When they were moving it. What a bro. What a bad ass mover guy. Reminds me of smoking out of a bong in the backyard with my friends during my high school years. And the pool guy came back for the weekly cleaning and saw us. He just said. Don't worry about me. I was in high school once too. Not a parent, but a snooping child. Found a box of my mom's dildos and lube. In a different drawer. Found a photo of my dad naked in the shower. My dad had died several years prior to my snooping discovery. Also not a parent, but I have a younger brother. I went to his room to search something up on the internet. And he left his tabs open. Apparently he likes Wincest. Edit. Likes. Not like. I wouldn't jump to any conclusions. I keep seeing thumbnails that look good with ridiculous titles. I don't understand why so many of them feel the need to have an incest plot, but I'm not gonna listen to them speak anyway. So. I'm a parent. So one weekend wife and I are chilling out in bed watching whatever garbage on TV. When our youngest son, 11, comes in and says oldest brother, 13, is looking at P on his tablet. So we call for oldest son. He denies and denies of course. So tell him to bring me his tablet. He hasn't learned the art of incognito browsing or clearing history completely. Going through his history. Well I'll be damned. He is looking at P. Not just any P though. Some anim stuff. Some adult raunchy stuff. But the real kicker was the Scooby Doo P. Fred fucking Velma. Shaggy fucking Daphne. Velma doing Daphne. Etc. So mom leaves the room to let dad and his son talk about this. Starts with the usual. Don't lie. You can't hide this shit from me if I go through your browsing history. It's okay to masturbate. In private of course. You're growing up. Yada yada yada. Finish the conversation. Give him his tablet back. But as he's walking out the door. 
I can't but help do my best slash worst Scooby impression, but Shaggy followed by Zoinks. Jink isn't rar off out your pee. His face got so red. And I just lost it. I was in tears. Now every so often. When he starts to cop an attitude with us. I just go zoinks to him. Kicker of it all. Youngest son comes into the room with I was only joking. I didn't know he really was. Edit. Corrected Velma. How are there two separate comments about Scooby Doo P in this thread? I've watched a lot of P in my day and I'll never get rule 34 stuff. Even beyond that I don't get how Scooby Doo is the show mentioned in two separate examples. Wit. Some people grew up with Scooby Doo and found the characters attractive. Thus fetish. For me it was Pokemon. Degree degrees. My 12 year old stepson's group chat on his iPhone entitled Sarasuk Big Dick. One of my group chat names was White Christian Family. IDKY. Update. It's now White Caucasian Family. I was cleaning my 7 year old's room because it was a fucking mess and I was sick of it. I found a collection of apple cores, orange peels and candy wrappers stashed under the bed. Some had been there a long time. Back in high school, my friend Eli's house was right next to our campus. I wasn't allowed to go hang out after school, though no boys were unless her mother was home. Why? Because mom had walked in on Eli giving a guy oral sex in the basement one day. The only reason I actually know this story is because one day I was there with parental supervision. And when mom has to leave for errands, she said well, I wish I could leave you guys here alone. But I guess that I really blew that chance. I have never seen a teenager turn that red. Not a parent, but was preteen at the time the internet was starting to get going. My parents saw my search history after I became confused how sex worked in homosexual relationships and googled it. That led to some interesting questions. So how does it work? Who decides whose pee swallows the other pee? I believe it is usually decided by a very intricate and long competition involving oil changes, leg wrestling, opera, and woodworking. More research is required, though. So I have a bunch of weird sleep issues, and one of them is the ability to hold conversations with people while I'm in a deep sleep. I have no memory of the conversations. My mom found out about this when I was a teenager and apparently she would sneak into my room in the middle of the night and sleep me would dish out all the scoop. Who was having a party. Who I liked. Which of my friends made bad life choices. Everything. She would never punish me for it but would give advice based on what sleep me confessed. It always confused me on how much she knew about my life. When I'm extra tired or stressed this comes back and apparently I have had hilarious conversations with my husband. I have just recently discovered that I passed this tray down to my son. Part of me is tempted to get the scoop from my kid, but another part of me wants to respect his personal space. It's in your genes? How odd. Not a parent, but a witness to their finding something they didn't want to see. Work it. Guy had his daughter's computer that was having issues opening some photo application and needed it fixed. As we're going through and checking if it worked, yet, opened up and presented an image of his daughter, naked, holding a huge dildo. No words were exchanged. He closed the lid and left at it. I got quite a few questions about the age of the daughter, and honestly, can't say. He mentioned her being home from college. So I'm assuming 18 plus. I once found a sock that would not only stand on its own, but could be used to prop a window open. I would have sat the kid down for a conversation, but I don't have kids. I also have an uneven number of socks now. Wait. What? I'm very confused. Did Op just say that they can prop a window open with a sock? My daughter's boyfriend left his condom wrapper in her bathroom trash can. Twice. It was a magnum. Both times. I'm very glad they are using double protection. She's also on BC, and they were both virgins, but god am I hate it. Well at least he's got a magnum dung. More likely just a huge ego. Typical not a parent. I was helping my recently turned teen cousin with a PC problem. I know his dad has some controls set, so I did a little snooping to see how effective they were. Apparently the kids discovered futanery and hente. He likes the classics black bible was searched for a lot. Didn't tell his dad. But I did peel the f out to my hands. Bible black my man. My man. Snaps fingers yes. Hungry for apples? Hungry for chicks with dicks. 
Apparently. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Parents why do you feel the need to go through your teen stuff? My mom always went through my stuff. I never had anything to hide but it always made me feel violated and it made me feel the need to hide stuff from my parents. Even if it was something small like a date or a birthday card from a friend. Let your teens have a safer place in their room where they can keep stuff that they feel is private. If you have any worries about drugs or other things be honest and open with them. When I was 16 I had we duct taped to the ceiling of a blocked off air vent in my room. Inside a smell proof case and my mom still managed to find it. She searched the air fine air vents. Condom wrapper in the downstairs trash. Rolled up inside a potato chip bag. Found it. Lighter tucked underneath the seat in my car. Found it. Plastic bag full of empty beer cans. That I hid at the bottom of our outdoor trash can. Found it. She loves me. But she was nauseous f. And always on my case. Cause she came from a very well to do family. Imagine how psyche she was when I came home on leave for the first time with a tattoo and a nicotine habit. Condom wrapper in the downstairs trash. Rolled up inside a potato chip bag. Okay. That crosses the line from nausea to insane. Did she pick through all the trash bags to inspect every item closely? I mean she could have just had hidden cameras that saw him put the condom wrapper inside the bag. Doesn't make it any better. Of course. It wouldn't be unheard of. My mother wanted hidden mix installed in the basement to spy on what we were up to. It took my dad a long time to convince her we were all literally just being smelly teenagers playing DDR. She's the one playing DDR. Neither of my parents seem to be nosy, but I have had some interesting moments. Like at one point my dad wanted me to look something on the web and saw I had Madina Arabic on the bookmark tab. And, naturally. His first response is, are you trying to join ISIS? I'm just really into languages. Something that apparently my family finds really weird. I'm not a parent, but on my 16th birthday my girlfriend at the time was over, and we were in my room watching a movie just chillin'. I went downstairs at a point during the night leaving the GF in the room, to get a drink of water. Whilst downstairs my mother asks me, if I had any laundry to be done. This wouldn't be strange for most 16 year old guys, but I had been doing my own laundry since I was 14 due to my parents regularly being away for days at a time for work. I was confused, but just replied no. I did some yesterday. I'm checking anyway. So she did. I got my glass of water and one for the GF and started my path back to my room when to shrill screams come from that direction. I ran to the door. My mother storms out eyes on the ground and grumbles I'm never going into your fucking room again. I enter the room. Perplexed. Only to find my GF wrapped in a bed sheet on the bed. Her clothes strewn on the ground. She had been sat on the edge of the bed with nothing on whatsoever when my mother walked in. The night was ruined and my mother never entered my room again. I'm sure she regrets being such a nosy fool. Your fucking room accurate. My mom found a thing saying I was B and confronted me while crying about it and begging me to tell her why I had turned away from God. Six years later and I'm still so far in the closet I may as well rule Narnia. Also she found my yayoi stash when I was a fucking weeblol. My mom found a thing saying I was B. She found your bisexuality license. You gotta hide that shit well lad. A small bag of weed stuffed in the bottom of his fleshlight. You were looking in his fleshlight. Wish I had not found my own teenage diary hidden in my teen daughter's room. What? Is there more to this? Op oh, please deliver. Not a parent story but. My piece of shit brother-in-law would try to catch me doing shit. My sister is much older. So I'd stay with them sometimes in the summer when I was a kid. He showed me his new computer and then said, don't give anyone my AOL password and just left me alone for a day while they worked. I was 12 with free reign to the internet. He came home with a perverted grin on his fat face. Did you know I can see what websites you've been to today? Oh, I can. He sat down at his computer. Fired up the history with a glint in his dead. Big eyes and saw 12 hours of activity. Of me doing two things. Reading about an Amorphs and Star Trek. And chatting about an Amorphs and Star Trek. Shoulder slap that B. I was not being nosy. Our family shares an Apple Cloud account, and when looking through apps that people had downloaded I found one about different sex positions. 
My oldest kid at the time was around 12. Teenager in my case. I'm always terrified that my parents will go through the various papers I have in my room and find the tests that I didn't do as well as they would have wanted me to do. This is innocent as f. Not a parent, but my stepdad tracks not only my phone, but also my bank account so almost everything. He tried to track what I do on the computer, but I'm more tech savvy than he is. He tracks your bank account? How? Because that is not normal or okay. A friend of mine once set the homepage on his dad's work computer to a P site. You know, those viruses that automatically set themselves. His dad got greeted with a large woman pleasing herself with a zucchini next time he opened his browser. At work. He was not pleased, but the it guy who had to take care of it must have had a good laugh. Edit. To clarify. He did it accidentally. He actually removed the Internet Explorer shortcut to try to hide it. Your friend is kind of a little shit. Do that to someone's home computer. Doing that to someone's work computer can make you have to talk two hours and it and is a pit for everyone involved. Not a parent, but I wish my mother hadn't found the letters. Located in a hidden drawer from my first girlfriend. Getting home one day to find my mother standing there proclaiming my girlfriend to be a nutteress was more insight into my life than I wanted her to have. In fairness to my mother her judgement was spot on but at the same time she'd failed to realise that was why I liked her. Not a parent. But when I was a teenager my mom, with no suspicion, managed to find my weed which was inside two pairs of socks. Inside a small cinch sack. All stuffed into the bottom of my soccer bag with shit piled on top. To this day she still claims she was just looking for dirty socks. The little boy I tutor gave me his iPod. So I could find some music on Yautub to play in the background. Opened the search bar. Tighter for whatever song it was. And the first suggestion was. A girl's butt close up. How did that get there? My 9 year old pupil exclaimed. Incredulous. I did not search that. It did not matter. That he was the only person in the household with that level of writing capability. I just kept going. Found my music. And didn't tell his. Very strict. Mum.